I've never seen a parasaur attack anything. Kill it! Go on! Go on, Earth! Kill it! Who's gonna win? I feel like I should have money on this. Alright, what's up boys and girls? It's I, Domzilla, and welcome back to Ark Survival Ascended on the Ark and Art <laughs> server. Last episode, we used a magic trap and tamed up our first Argentavis, and I asked you wonderful people of the comment section to name up our new guy, and this is the name that we prevailed with. Big up to Savage Bab for the name, I highly rate it, and I'm buzzing that we've got a good name for the big bird, so again, thank you. Now, what are we doing today, you may be thinking? Well, I mentioned that we need to start further developing our advancements in the base when it comes to high-end machinery, and we can't do all of that without getting ourselves a dinosaur that can gather top-tier resources efficiently. So today, we're gonna go for an Anki. Also, you might be wondering, why are we down on the beach? Well, I want to make this one a little bit easier, so I have decided to build a big taming pen to put this guy in as you can see i've already started laying down the fence foundation for this build now this taming pen is going to be rather large okay it doesn't need to be this big but i feel like we're going to end up using it throughout the series for certain things because of the simple fact that it's, it's pretty hard to tame things out in the wild nowadays with the smart ai it's going to be a little bit tough so what i'm going to do i'm just going to show you how we are going to build this thing now what you are going to need for this build is you need 24 fence foundations obviously we already have two laid down you're going to need a stone gateway a stone reinforced gate and 44 stone walls you don't have to make this thing this big i'm just choosing to make this thing this big and it's starting to rain brilliant but as you can see, you have different snap points when it comes to using this fence foundation. Now, normally, I do make it like this. Instead of making it like this, but we are making it a lot bigger. Because like I mentioned, we're going to be using this for a little bit of the series, I think. For certain teams that I want to be easy, then, yeah, we're going to use this taming pen. Like the Anki, I can't really be bothered to sit out in the wild and watch it tame. But we could just pick it up and throw it in here, and then I can keep doing stuff in the base. It's handy for stuff like that, so it'd be handy for a lot of people. Right, so you start off by going on that one. Not, oh, well, I can't show you now. Right, there we go. So you have the straight, you have this, and then this. You want to go with this one here, the one in the middle. Okay, right, and then we're going to go there and there. And we're just going to follow it all the way around, just like that, look. So make sure that you have two that are going the same way, just like that. And then you snap it off, just like that. So two snap snap and then you have two it's it's relatively simple and it's quite a good shape to use i think uh oh there we go you have to be careful that you don't you don't get it wrong because i have built this thing already so i can have it prepared for on camera and i have built it wrong but there you go that is the shape uh can we get a bit of k mode action going there you go this thing's absolutely ginormous so yeah you can fit a lot of things in here for example when you're getting near the end game you get yourself a rhino natha you see a t-rex and it's getting at by something you just pick it up because you can obviously we can't but you can pick the t-rex up drop it in your little circle here and you can fire away at it look at it it's amazing right now we need the walls come here ace now for the walls uh, it's something that i'd recommend doing is using where is it the stone doorway look at that and it's placed it the wrong way god damn it like i was saying the stone door it's placed it the wrong way again god damn it i'd recommend using the stone doorway yeah there we go and you're gonna make this too high all the way around there we go look at this this is lovely this uh can we get it there we go lovely stuff too high it normally keeps most of the bigger creatures out of grass obviously the walls are a lot bigger now so too high is definitely more than enough look at this and it's absolutely huge it is huge to be fair it might be a bit of a pain in the backside when you're taming smaller creatures obviously for some creatures like dillos and stuff this isn't going to be practical because you might as well just use a bowler and a club let's be honest but for the bigger creatures dropping them in here is going to be incredibly useful like i said we will be using this quite a bit but today we're just going to try and use it for anki because i need an anki and i don't really fancy taming one out in the wild let's just chuck that up there just like that lovely stuff oh i've, I've missed a few i've mi oh it's these that i've missed or do i want the gate the here oh i kind of want the gate here actually yeah let's do that we'll put the gate here 
There we go. Uh, one's placed wrong. Fantastic. It was too good to be true. It's going too well. There we go. Let's bang that in there. There we go. And that is all of the walls. So this is how you want it looking so far. It's absolutely massive, isn't it? You can mass tame like 15 Ankies in here. But like I said, this can be used for Rexes. If you get yourself a Rhino Natha, when you get yourself a Quetzal, you can pick up some of the bigger teams like Derezinos and drop them in here. It's, it's just easy. It makes things easier, doesn't it? And you just want to grab yourself a gate. If it snaps to the right bit, this is the hardest bit, getting the gate to snap. I had it. There we go. Gate snap. Lovely stuff. Bang your gate in. Jobs are good in. Look at this. Obviously, they can't weave in and out of these door frames, whereas you can. And you can just shoot them through the door. Shoot through the door frame, look. How good's this? Obviously, you could build this out of wood as well. But the bigger teams that you're going to put in here will destroy the wood very easily. So stone is the best bet. And it took me ages to get all this stuff because we still don't have a dodic. But here it is. Here is the taming pen. You could also build spikes all the way around it if you don't feel like that place is completely safe. However, we're in a pretty safe spot. The only thing that's going to be bad here is Dillo's. Um, and to be fair, not a lot of stuff's going to spawn here now because I've built this. But that is it. That is the taming pen all in its glory. You could even build something along the back to have like a platform to shoot down on it. However, I feel like shooting off the ground is just a lot easier. I suppose the only thing that we can do now is actually go and find ourselves at Anki. That might be the hardest task. I might even fly down to Herbivore Island and see if there's any good levels down here. It's just a long way to go if there's not any good levels. Hmm. Either way, we're going to be traveling far because Ankies are really on the mountains. Hmm. Where are we going to go? We could go back over here. We love going up here, don't we? All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go find an Anki. And then we're going to put this taming pen to the test and see if it's any good. I mean, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? I love the shape. Okay, I love it. It's the closest thing that I can make to a circle. <laughs> and with fence foundations, I don't think it's too bad. So obviously, it is large. Yeah, you can make it a lot smaller if you really wanted to. But I like this. This size is good. Okay. Uh, let's go and have a fun time not finding it, Anki. Oh, and here is another thing that has been added to the server. The turkey trial is live. Look at this guy. Level 250. So, I've only seen little bits about this turkey. However, I'm not really keen on fighting it just yet. I need to find a good way of killing it, because we don't really have anything that's well, going to be able to kill it with ease. Not even with ease. Even have a chance at killing it. Ace wouldn't even have a chance at fighting this thing. It's... Uh, it's a little bit overpowered. It's like, it's like a mini boss of Fjordor. It's that powerful. But eventually we will get to the event stuff. I'm just um, staying away from him from now. I'm just happy that they're not an aggressive. I think that we're going to head back up to where we tamed Ace last episode. Because there was a lot of Ankies up there. And I feel like that might be the best place to actually try and find one. Herbivore Island's kind of far. And there's probably not going to be any decent levels on there. Because only like three spawn. We need quite a few to spawn. And we can just kill them and come back for these if not we'll have a little trip up to the mountains because we haven't been there yet and we'll be going there quite often with our new anki when we actually get him tamed up oh my god the parasaur's slapping that dillo up go on parasaur i've never seen a parasaur attack anything kill it go on what on earth kill it who's gonna win i feel like we should have money on this get it parasaur the dillo is not even attacking go on Ark Survival Ascended's crazy. I ain't never seen a Parasaur attack anything. Is that other one going to join in? It's going ham. Oh, there's a baby. Maybe that's why he's attacking. Oh, God. It's a big fight to the death. I've been distracted. Who's going to win? It's a level 20 against a level 15. Oh, no, the Parasaur's losing. Oh, my God, this is a big battle. I really should be trying to find an Anki. But this is really entertaining. I don't really see wild fights like this. Kill it! Oh, God, there's two baby dillos. Oh, no, the parasaur lost. Run, baby parasaur. Well, that's no longer my problem. Come on, Anki. Right, okay, we're coming up to where we tamed up Ace. Ace remembers this place wonderfully. I'm going to be really annoyed if I find a high-level Argentavis, a female one. All right, okay, 100. That's the highest. I can deal with not taming 100, but it actually doesn't look like there's an Anki here at all. A Dodie. But it's not a great level. Hmm. 
Maybe I was wrong. Maybe we should go to Herb. So there's absolutely nothing here. There's nothing at all. Huh. Let's have a little fly around here. I'm really low on stamina. Probably should have uh, filled myself up. We'll have to give Ace a rest in a second. But it actually doesn't look like there's any Yankees here at all. Which is a bit of a shame. I was really expecting to find one here. Maybe this place isn't as good as what I thought it was. Yep, there's uh, there's definitely no Ankies here to do with this meat. Look at the colours on these guys. These are all the event colours. So Wild Dinos now have some really cool colours. For a limited time, that is. We just need to get some... Uh, we need to get some turkeys. But we'll, we'll figure out how to do that efficiently at a later stage. We need an Anki. There's no Anki here. I would have took the Dodic, but he's a super low level and he won't be any use to us. Hmm, where are we going to go? We can either go up to the mountains or we can go down to Herb. I feel like we should probably head towards the volcano. Maybe. Might be the best bet, to be fair. Because there's not really anywhere else that Ankies will spawn, apart from around the top of mountains. Hmm, maybe we should uh, go on a little adventure. We've not been over there yet, so let's go. I suppose the only problem with our taming pen is that, you know, we're not in, like, the best spot ever to be carrying a lot of stuff back. That That is really the only problem. If you are located in the middle of the map, I suppose, the taming pen's perfect for you because you haven't really got to carry anything anywhere. Okay, I'm not really finding any Yankees at the moment. There's normally loads dotted around the side of the volcano. I can't see nothing. Maybe we should go fast, Pete. Well, at the moment, it's looking rather likely that I'm going to end up going to Herb. I've been all the way around the volcano and there's nothing there. Very odd. Even if we have to take, like, a mediocre level for now, we're probably going to have to. Which is something that I don't really want, because the carry weight on them is going to be uh, quite vital, actually. Genuinely struggling to find an Anki, which is something that I didn't think I was going to do. Okay, sometimes they spawn on the top of here, but there's absolutely nothing up here either. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly to Herb. Okay, it's going to take a minute to get there, and I can't see anything right now. So I'm just going to bring you back when we get to Herb, because I can't believe I've not found a single Anki yet. Kind of sucks, not going to lie. I mean, we've got a purple drop down here. Well, there's a T-Rex sat next to it. All right, let's grab this purple drop quick before that Rex sees us. And I'm stuck. God damn it, game. Well, oh, I'm stuck. Inside the drop. God damn it. Go away. All right, can we get it now? Grab it. I think we got something good out of that. All right, let's have a look what we got. I got... We already had the crossbow on us. I got some prime fish mint, some sat, arthropora saddle. Some gilly leggings, which are good, and a decent long neck. Hmm. That's actually not that bad. Oh, I've got another level as well. Wait, did I put that in? I probably forgot to put that in. 2042, let's go. Right, okay. Now we're at Herb. There's one of deranged Trinodons here and a big metal gate. Um, I don't really know what's going off here, but we're only here to find an Anki. Okay, that is what we're here to find. Right, we've got one straight away, look. See how easy it is to find Anki down here? God damn it. What level are you? 40? Not great. Not great. Hmm. That is not giving me high hopes already. Might have to gamma up to actually be able to see anything on here. There we go. Now I can see a little bit better. Right, Ankies, where are you? There's got to be a few on here somewhere. I still can't believe I couldn't find a single one on any of the mountains and we've had to resort to coming here. I flew an entire length around the map. Just to try and find an Anki. Right, okay, we've got another one. What level are you? Five? Oh my word, you're terrible. I feel like I should get rid of you. Oh, level five is not good. Sorry, dude. You suck. There we go. Alright, any more? Alright, we got another one. 25? You're even worse. Oh my lord, well you're not, but... Let's get rid of you. 
Ideally, I want the one that's like 80 plus so it's got a good carry weight, but it's not looking good. Right, do we have any up top? Yes, there's one here. What level are you? 45. Oh my lord, are you the best one? I mean, you've got some funky colours on you. But 45 is still pretty low. We could do the tactic of eliminating some and then coming back. Hmm. Let's have a look. Is there another one up here? I think there's only a trike. Yeah, it's just a trike. Well, that looks like our best pick. But that's still four more Ankies than what I found on the entire map. Admittedly, I probably wasn't looking, you know, too much. But I was going around the entirety of each mountain and finding, well, none. But what I'm going to do with you, Mrs. Funky Colors, I'm going to chuck you on here. I'm going to eliminate the other one. And then we're going to fly in and fly back. Oh, uh, yeah, there's an explorer out here, too. Let's grab that. Among the island's most Are you tenacious Nadon? path. Best. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go eliminate that 40 that's there as well. Get it! Why won't you die? There we go. All this stuff. Right, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly away and I'm going to come back and see if any spawn in. Hopefully it works. We'll see. Right, I flew away. Let's see if any more have spawned back in. I don't know. It's not been like a great deal of time, so they, they may not have spawned back in yet. But there's no harm in having a look. If there isn't, we may settle for the level 45, which is a little bit poopy. But then I can just come back in between episodes and try and tame up a better one. Okay, one has spawned back in, so it did work. Level 40. God damn it, didn't I just get rid of you? What level is this one? 25? Okay, the ones I killed have spawned back in. No. We need higher levels. 45? God damn it, we'll kill you as well. What are you doing? I know I killed it up in the air, but what are you doing? Suppose we'll do the same thing again. I'll come back and we'll have a look. Seems like four spawn on here all the time. So, as long as we keep eliminating them, we might get a high one spawning. This one is still the last resort. Funky's just chilling on there. I feel like we need to tame that one just because I've already given it a name. Ace has got four levels from killing these. Let's get him a little bit of melee. A little bit of weight. Probably a bit of health as well. He's going to be an all-rounder, this one. Ace is going to be, uh... He's literally going to be the new Anna. Ugh. Might have to settle for a level 45, which isn't great. Carry weight on it's going to be a little bit of a nightmare. What's that? Geomia, yeah. God damn it. We'll try one more. We'll fly away. We'll come back. If there's an Anki, there's an Anki. If there isn't, we're going to have to take Funke. And then I'll have to try and get a high level in between episodes. Okay, there we go. More of a spawn back in. See, it does work. It just takes time. And they all absolutely suck. 35 and a 15. God damn. Is that really all there is? Oh, I've Megalania accidentally Murray picked Street up a... Is among oh. the largest creatures found okay. I did not mean to pick that up. I don't even know where that was. I don't remember being another one on here. But we've got another one. God damn it. <laughs> so it's looking like we're going to have to settle for the 45 for now, which kind of sucks. But we'll take it. We'll take it. 45 is super low, to be fair. Like, I wanted at least double its level, but... It's going to have to do for now. Like I say, I'll come back in between episodes. Or I could just kill them all now. Hmm. I could just kill them all now. Oh, as you can see, it's daylight now. So, yes, I killed them all. 
I decided that, you know, we might as well get a high level one, you know. I want a high level one. I want some good carry weight because we've got a lot of stuff to upgrade in the base. So I'm hoping now that a high level has spawned in. Let's have a look. Oh, I spoke too soon. One has spawned in, or a couple have. There are 25. Oh my god. We're actually going to have to settle for a super low level. 90! There we go! That's what I've wanted all along. Where have you been? Okay, killing them actually worked. We've got a level 90. I will take it. He is just for gathering metal. However, you know, we do need a decent level for the weight. The weight's going to be key, okay? Trust me, it's going to be key. Right, let's get him back to base, so then I can finally show you how this taming pen is going to work. It's, it's going to be amazing. Now, the taming pen is huge, but it, we can use it for a lot of things throughout the series, trust me. It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be good. Now we just need to try and get this guy home safely. It should be alright, to be fair. All of the south beach is... Uh, Rather safe, rather safe. Right, here we are, we're back. Nothing has spawned in around it, we're looking pretty safe. Now all we're gonna do is drop him straight in here. Job's a good one, he can't get out. Now we need to knock him out. Look at this, it's perfect. You're not gonna get out of here, are you, dude? All right, let's uh, see. And he can't damage it because it is stone. Obviously, there is certain dinos that can damage stone, but this guy can't. So we're just going to knock him clean out. Go to sleep. We need to gather some metal, buddy. Come on. Come on. See, look. You can't get to me, can you? Oh, I can't even shoot. Go to sleep. This guy shouldn't take too many arrows, I don't think. I don't think he's even... Uh, he's torpor ridden already. Or is he? Yeah, he is. Go to sleep. In the butt. Oh, I thought he went down then. Probably needs to be careful now, though. Oh, he's getting a bit bloody. Come on, dude. Just go to sleep. There we go. Lovely stuff. Look how handy this is. Look at it. Like I did mention at the start of the episode, you really don't need to make it this big if you don't want to. You can use the opposite snap point, which I mentioned, the one that's like a little bit further inwards, and you can make this a lot smaller. But I've made it bigger so you can tame multiple things at once, or you can tame the bigger creatures. For example, like a Rex. You can genuinely put a Rex in here, as long as you have a Rhino Napper to pick it up with. And a Rex, I don't think it can get over two walls. But we did it! The Ankylo is down. Look at him. He's fast asleep. We need to go uh, get him some berries. Um, pretty sure that Woody has a few on him. So let's go and grab them. And we'll get him teamed up. Lovely stuff. Level 90 Anki. I'll take it. The reason I've built it away from the base as well is because if you are taming something that is quite aggressive and you drop it and it completely misses the trap, then it's going to be running rampant around the base and have the possibility of killing some of your teams. So it's best to build it away. And that is why you can also add the wooden spikes if you really wanted to. Where's that damn turkey? You stay away. Do you have any? Oh my god. Woody doesn't have any. There we go. You take these. Lovely stuff. He should tame up in no time. His unconsciousness is going down, but the taming should go up a lot quicker. I wonder if we have a saddle already for this guy, because obviously the loot drops have been collecting them. We may already have a saddle for an Anki. I'm not too sure, to be honest. All right, let's have a look. Do we actually have an Anki saddle? We do. Lovely stuff. Let's take that. Job's are good and I can finally uh, empty out all of this other good stuff that we've got as well. Let's put that in there. Put the long neck in there. That that could be very handy at some point. I'm quite certain of it, actually. Let's bang this in here. Job's are good and lovely stuff. But we do. We have our anchor saddle. Lovely. Yeah! There we go! Anki is tamed, level 134. It's not bad, it'll do for now. Here's his saddle. Lovely stuff. The taming pen worked incredibly well, didn't it? I mean, we didn't really have to do much. We can definitely tame an Anki without a taming pen, but I wanted one. So I thought, why not kill two birds with one stone? Look at him. Yeah. Gather some flint. Best. 
Look at this. Look at all this lovely flint he's gathering. I don't even know what rock he's hitting at this point. All right, let's get the Anki. I'm getting back to base, but we did it. A level 90, I'll take it. He's going to be absolutely magic when it comes to upgrading all the stuff in the base now. We now have a metal gatherer. Amazing. Anyway, boys and girls, that is going to be it for this episode. If you did enjoy it, make sure you drop this video a like, subscribe, and ding the notification bell to keep up with further Ark Survival Ascended shenanigans. Now that we have our new Anki friend, we can start gathering high-end resources to start making the big stuff in the game, like the Fabricator, and so on and so forth. If you want to drop a name for the Anki in the comments, we will get him named up in the next episode. But that is all from me, Hector, and our new spiky dude. We'll see you next time.